What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing the Poison Swing Tail Jig. Uh, this is my newest mold and I can tell you um, right when I got it, I fell in love quick. This makes an amazing jig. There's six cavities. You got one ounce, three quarter, half, three eighths, quarter, and an eighth. And you use uh, two different um, wire forms. So for the bigger ones, the one ounce, the three quarter, and the half, you use the STW155 wire form. And for the three eighths, the quarter, and the eighth, you use the STW130 wire form. I'll show you those real quick. Here is the STW155, and this is the STW130. So they're the same thing, just the 155 is a little bit longer. That's the only difference. So for the one ounce, I'll use a six aught hook. For the three quarter, I'm gonna use a five aught hook. And for the half and the three eighths, I'm gonna use a four aught hook. And uh, for the quarter and the eighth, I'm gonna use a three aught hook. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make one of each. The other thing I've been doing with the poison swing tail is I've actually made a chatterbait with them. And how I did it is, is I took cutters and I cut a little slot here for the blade to slide on. And at first I was worried that by you cutting the, uh, the wire form that it wouldn't hold up. Well, I did a test and uh, it actually takes 43 pounds to bend this out and I actually have a video on it so if you look back at my videos you'll find that video so all right um, another thing I got was a hot pot too holds four pounds of lead and it's uh, you can melt it and pour it and uh, for when I'm only making a few jigs I'm gonna go ahead and use this so this is the first time I've used this so this is gonna be a review video for this as well all right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some real oil, and I oil here, 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 and here. Just one little drop. And the other thing I do is I smoke the mold. So I take a candle and I just go over every cavity. I get the little the soot stuff all over it. And what this does is it helps release the lead once it gets in the mold. And it also helps the lead fill the cavity. All right. So then I keep the, uh, the mold on the pot here because you want to make sure that the mold stays hot at all times. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're ready to pour. If you notice, I have my gloves on. Uh, whenever I'm touching lead, I always have my gloves on. Uh, I have the door open. I have a fan going on, wear eye protection. And then when I'm pouring the lead, I'm gonna be wearing the uh, welding gloves. So let's go ahead and load these. We're gonna do one of every cavity here. So the one ounce, the three quarter, and the half, use the, lo the longer wire forms, and the three eighths, the quarter, and the eighth, use the smaller wire form. 
go ahead and shut the mold here. Make sure that there's no uh, openings there. Make sure it shuts completely. Put on the gloves. We're gonna go ahead and pour. Like I said, this is actually my first time using this hot pot too. <laughs> it uh, works pretty good. All right. So, all of them came out. This one is on this side, but all of them came out perfect. actually uh, show you what it looks like to have the wire form in. Forgot to show the camera here. So this is what it looks like loaded. So these three sizes have the longer wire form and these three sizes have the smaller wire form. This is the STW-155, and these ones are the STW-130. Okay, so I got a, quite a few of them now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to paint them up and put some eyes on them. Alright guys, so it's time to paint some. So I'm using this Pro-Tech. Uh, this is a watermelon flake. And I have a heat gun, and I'm going to be moving the jig over the heat gun, get the jig hot, and I dip it in the paint, and the paint sticks. All right, so I'm gonna do this for about 20 seconds or so. And then I'm going to dip it right in. I knock off all the excess. And then usually I put it back in. Like that. There you go. And I'm also going to bake this in the oven for a while. What I do is I click it like this and I leave this hook because I have a wire in my oven that I can hook this onto. So I go like this. Get it nice and hot. Do it for about 20, 30 seconds. So then what I do is I just go directly into the paint and I knock it off. And go like this. You always want to make sure your eye is clear. Sometimes if you get too much paint, it can do that. I hang it right up. Grab another one. And I like to stir the paint. Get it nice and fluffy. I don't have a fluid bed. All right. So I have a bunch of them lined up. And then once they get done baking, then we're gonna go ahead and put uh, eyeballs on them. All right. Okay, so here they are painted. So it's time to put some eyes on there. 
I figured the red will look good with this green here. All right. All right, so what I'm gonna be using is this five minute, two ton epoxy. Square it out, equal. And I take Q-tip, mix it up. You got about five minutes to play with it. Okay, so here's the first one. And all I do is I put a little dot on there. I take an eye, put it on. Do that on both sides. All right. All right, so it's time to put some hooks on there for the uh, the six aught big boy, some gamagatsus, Basically, all you do is you hook it on like this. Take some needle nose. And you just bend them back. So for the next size, I'm going to use some Gamagatsu 5 aught. Keep doing the same thing. Kind of bend it back. Right. So for the next one, next size down, I'm going to use some uh, four aught. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a six aught. <laughs> Is this the four aught? Okay. So here's the four aught. Come a got to. Put it on, pinch it shut. All right, so for the next size, I'll also put a four eye. Next two small sizes, I use three out. Come and got to. Right size. For the really little guy, three odd. So now there's a couple of different ways you can rig these. Is you can actually um, just fish it just like this. And put your favorite, you know, uh, creature bait or craw and you fish it like a regular uh, football swing jig. 
or you can actually put a skirt on it and use it as uh, like a swim jig. You would put like a swim bait or like a, a twin tail grub, or you can actually just put like a, a, a double tail hula grub on there. So then that gives the skirt and the, uh, the trailer, then you can fish it, you know, like a regular football swing jig, or you can fish it like um, uh, a swim jig. So another thing that I've been doing is making them in, into chatter baits. And all you do is, so all you do is you take cutters, see that? Then you just break it open. And then, let's see if I can find my blades here. You just put the blade straight on. And you put the blade on, and then you would kind of put it back closed a little bit. So that's the way I put it on. And like I said before, at first I was a little scared to do that because I know once you cut it, you know, it might not hold up. This eye might bend open or whatever. But I actually did a test, and it takes 43 pounds to, to open that up, that wire form. And uh, like I said before, I have a video on that. So go through my videos and there's one on there. But anyways, guys, that's the, uh, the poison swing tail jig. Yeah. Take it from me. This, uh, this mold is awesome. Definitely one you want in your arsenal. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. You know, please subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. All right. That guy's skimpy.